Want to get more sales without being salesy? Well, you've come to the right place. Check this out. This is the Sales Gorilla Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Sales Gorilla Podcast with your host, the Sales Gorilla himself, Landon Porter. Landon, how you doing today, man? I'm awesome, Sauce Nathan. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm glad to be back on the podcast. And, you know, I'm going to pick your brain about some stuff because over the last couple of weeks, at the end of the podcast, we, we kind of, we pried into a new project that you've got coming. And right now, actually, we're in the actual launch of Leads Lab. And for the people that were just kind of teased out as to what Leads Lab is and they need a little bit inf- more information because I know it's going live this week, I wanted to kind of talk about that and figure out what exactly Leads Lab is, who would need Leads Lab, and what they're going to get out of Leads Lab. And more importantly, why I'm doing this. So the deal is the last couple of years that we've been doing Gorilla Army Nation, really what it is that I want to teach people is how to identify their perfect client, right? Eliminate all the headaches, find the people you can charge the most amount of money to, find the people that you can charge the most amount of money to, and you have the greatest impact on, make your life easy, do only the shit you want to do and make a bunch of money. Well, in doing that, what we found is, is the vast majority of business owners even the ones that are actually like knocking it out of the park, most of them don't have the basics nailed. And what I mean by the basics is their actual ideal client avatar, the actual message that they can just go do a post on LinkedIn about, hey, blah, 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 blah. And people come flying towards them, begging to, to work with them. And because of that, they also don't have their offer nailed. So, In teaching the stuff that I want to teach people, there's a fundamental gap there. Most people don't know how to initiate conversations with the right people to verify and clarify their messaging, which creates their perfect offer. And so they're doing a lot of the second tier stuff. And what I mean by that is trying to do email marketing, right? Trying to do Facebook ads, trying to do Google ads, trying to like do automated traffic generation stuff to fix the fundamental problem of lead flow. And if you don't have those basics in place and nailed, none of that shit works really well. So really you've got two choices to do this. And what we've seen is people end up hiring somebody who's a Facebook ads expert or somebody who does LinkedIn lead generation on autopilot or somebody who will go build you a list and then email market to that list. If you've got the means to pay somebody 10, 15, 20 grand a month right out the gate and you want to go that route, fantastic. I still think that's a waste of time and I think that you're shortchanging yourself. The other way to do it, which is really, in my opinion, the right way to do it is to have enough conversations with close to the right people that you actually want to work with and enough of them to be able to verify if they are, in fact, your ICA what the message needs to be, and what the offer is that's going to get them to want to jump. I believe that if you've got those three things nailed, it's really easy to build a wait list and raise your prices incrementally. Once that's nailed, then you can go throw as much money on it as you want, right? But the first tier piece of it is you've got to have enough conversations with enough people that could be your ideal client so you can get those three things nailed. And I see a lot of people skipping that step. So, as a sales guy, I've spent years and years and years prospecting for new clients and I've got a process down for this. And we've been doing this on the internet through social media for the last two plus years. And we've got that aspect of it nailed. So we're going to do a live class starting next Monday on the 22nd of April. And we're going to take a group of people through a very simple step-by-step process Monday through Friday with here's the action to go take. Here's why you're taking it. Here's how to do it. That literally takes less than 20 minutes a day to be able to get people in a conversation so you can figure out if they're the right fit. You can get your your message nailed and hone in your offer. So that's what we're doing. Okay, that was a lot. I want to I want to take part of that and kind of break it apart and examine it piece by piece. Now, you're famous for saying you only need you only need two things to get sales and that's leads and a sales conversation. I want to know 
where most people are going wrong with both of these two things. Where do people go wrong when trying to get leads and where do people go wrong with their sales conversation? Mm -hmm. So the most common thing I've heard in the last two years doing this sales training stuff is I can close anybody if I can just get into a conversation. That's my problem. I don't have enough conversations. And my take on that is, is okay, cool. You think you can close anybody that's actually incorrect. You need to have leads in a sales conversation to be able to get clients. And a lot of people are out there at random, ad hoc, hitting people up on social media, sliding into their DMs, sending cold emails, you know, trying to wrangle people out of Facebook groups or, or in LinkedIn to try and get those people to have a conversation. That piece, the getting leads piece, the main thing that they're not doing the right way is they don't go after a very specific, predetermined, predefined ideal client avatar. And even the people that think they know who their right customers are, they actually don't. And they're going wrong there. Well, if you start with that wrong or not quite right, the second ingredient, the sales conversation is never going to go the way that they want, which is why it usually feels awkward. Most of the time you end up trying to convince somebody and you don't end up with a client. You spend a lot of time having conversations that don't go the way you want. This is really easy. It's a really easy way to get into the, the dip in that entrepreneur roller coaster, that business owner roller coaster. You need leads and you need sales conversation. But if you're not targeted the right way, good luck with that. So one thing that comes to mind, I have a friend that actually works asset protection for a retail store. And she tells me that one of the most common events in the store is children that go missing. And one of the things that they, I know this is just, Sounds scary and you're like, how does this tie to what we're talking about? Uh, one of the things that they do is they want a detailed description of the kid that they're looking for. If a parent comes up and says, well, it's a four-year-old boy and that's the only description they can get, then it's going to be very hard for them to find them. Well, when somebody comes to me and says, when I ask them, well, who's your ideal client avatar? Who is it, who is it that you want to work with or who is it that you want to sell to? And they say, well, males between the age of 35 and 36. That does not help me out at all. So just like when you're, when you're looking for a missing child, you need to be very detailed in your description. You need to know exactly who you're looking for. You don't want to go home with just some random four-year-old boy. I walked into the store with a four-year-old boy. I walked out with the four-year-old boy. I'm happy. That's not the way that it is. So when it comes to getting your client, you don't want to just have, oh, I work for business owners who... Uh, are in the Denver, Colorado area. A lot, of, a lot of business owners that I work with, though, that's how detailed they are. They don't have a, a, a very nailed down client avatar. Mm -hmm. Well, and what is the first thing that a good copywriter does when a client hires them? They go do market research. What's the first thing that they're doing market research on? Who it is that would buy this thing? And they get very specific and very detailed and they get it nailed down. So the messaging that can come through the copywriting is speaking specifically to a ideal client avatar, period, because you have to have that. Here's the biggest problem. If you don't know who your ICA is, you can't have a message that works. And if you don't have a message that works, your offer will almost never work. And that's why people are, you know, here's the second most common thing that we hear in our world is that, oh, most of my clients come to me through referrals. And I'm like, that's fantastic. But is it consistent? And almost none of them, unless they've been in business for years and years and years, and they've gone through this problem, it's inconsistent. It happens at random. And half the referrals you get, you take on, even though you know they're not the right fit, you take them on because, God, you need that next client. Well, if you're going to go out and do lead gen, most people end up talking to 100 people before they have a conversation that goes excellent well enough to where you can try and talk somebody into buying your thing and getting one client out of 100 conversations. That's rough. It might start off that way. You might need to have 100 contacts with people to get 20 conversations. And out of those 20 conversations, two or three of them are close enough to the kind of client you want that you could turn those people into a, into a client. But really, it should be you, you connect with 20 people, you have eight or 10 conversations, and you turn two or three into a client. 
that's how it could be. That's how it should be. But there's a process to get there. And a lot of people don't know what that process is. And so they spend six months or 18 months or 36 months going through the motions. And eventually they kind of land on something that half works half the time. And they're like, yeah, I can talk to 20 people and get a client. In my world, in my opinion, that is way too long of a period of time to have that shitty of a closing ratio. It just, it shouldn't be that way. It doesn't need to be that way. But a lot of people in this, in, in our little world here, entrepreneurs and business owners, they're entrepreneurs and business people. They're not salespeople, right? If you go with that mentality, oh, it might take 12 to 24 months for me to kind of figure out how to go get a client and you go work for a company that's hiring you as a salesperson with that mentality, you're not going to last two months because that doesn't fly. Well, if your business is what's putting food on the table, that shit shouldn't fly for you either. Here's an easier process, right? So you mentioned people taking out Facebook ads or there's always the new bright, shiny object that is the new marketing tool that's going to solve all of your, your sales problems. But without having the, the target market nailed down, knowing exactly who you want to go after, and without having the message uh, of what's going to connect with them and what you, what you also said, the offer, it seems to me, this is, this is a problem that I've had with a lot of my clients as well, which is they don't know these things and they want me to write an advertisement for them and they don't have a clear understanding of these things. And I feel like if they don't, they're basically throwing their money away and everybody's praising these new tools. And a lot of these tools are brilliant. Facebook ads is brilliant. The targeting that it allows uh, up until this point has been pretty brilliant. All of the different tools that are out there that are pretty brilliant. But if you don't have these key things in place, you're not going to be able to leverage them the way that somebody who does know who their ICA is, what their message is and what their offer is. So how do people go about if they're not at the point where they have a solid understanding of these three things, how do people go about initiating the conversations so that they can start getting a clear idea about these things? Well, really you need to initiate conversations with people that you think could be the right fit, right? And you're going to find out pretty quickly in that process that a lot of the people you thought might have been the right fit are actually not the right fit. The only way to find that out is to have some conversations. And this, this leads us into probably the biggest area of, of fear and or procrastination is I don't know who to reach out to. Oh, okay, cool. Now I know who to reach out to. I don't know what to say. You'd be surprised how many adults that, that are in this world don't really know how to initiate a conversation in a way that doesn't feel weird. And there's some things in there that we can unpack, but the bottom line is, is you've got to have an idea of who you want to initiate a conversation with, and then you got to initiate the conversation. And what a lot of people end up doing is, is they just slide right into somebody's DM with this nine paragraph message and they don't get a response. And they're like, I, you know, I don't get a response, man. I sent out 200 contacts on LinkedIn over the last two weeks. And one person responded to me with a big middle finger. Yeah. Duh, right? Put yourself in their shoes. You don't know this person. Somebody reaches out to you about this really cool thing that, that they want to talk to you about. And oh my God, you got to have it and it's going to fix all your problems. How many times do you reach back out to them? Oh my God, I can't believe you fell out of the sky. This is perfect timing. I need that thing. Here's three grand. It never happens that way. There's a process to it. It's like dating, right? People don't know what that process is. And my bad, I made an assumption over the last couple of years that, well, everybody just knew what this process was. <laughs> so a lot of people don't, a lot of people want that simple, easy process. So let's go do that. So it sounds like, and I, I want to do, I want to do a full episode on this because we're running out of time and I don't think that we can do it justice but it sounds like there's a lot of work to do before you actually start doing the work. And if you don't do that pre-work work, the actual work is pretty much not worth even pursuing. I liken it to this. 
if you're listening to this and you've ever cooked Thanksgiving dinner at your house for the family of like eight, 10, 20 people, and you do that the night after you threw a kegger at your house and you haven't cleaned up the house, right? You come down to the kitchen four o'clock in the morning because you know you got to get the turkey in the oven and the place is a disaster, but you're just going to like push through and you're going to start making Thanksgiving dinner and it's a disaster. It's not going to turn out very easy and it's going to be really hard to get done. It's, that's what this is. There are, there are things that you need to put in place before that, right? You got to clean the house. You got to get all the ingredients. You got to make sure you've got all the right ingredients. You've got to have the recipes to be able to pull that off. And what a lot of people end up doing when it comes to lead generation is they come downstairs to their office and they don't have any of the ingredients and shit's not in the right order. And they just start trying to hammer through it and it doesn't work that way. Okay. So let's kind of recap exactly what is the 30 day leads lab and how it helps address this problem. And then where can people go to uh, get signed up? Cause I know that there's only a week left to get signed up for the, for the actual live um, kind of 30 day module. So where can people go to get signed up before they miss out on the opportunity? Sure. So here's, here's, It in a nutshell, you got to know who to reach out to. You got to know how to have the conversation so you can pull out all the information from them so you can hone your message and you can craft an offer that works. To do that, you need to be able to reach out to people and get them to agree to have a conversation with you. There is a simple little process to initiate those conversations. There is a simple little process to have and conduct those conversations to get you the information that you want and need. And after you do this a few times, it's pretty easy to turn the right people into clients right there on the spot. We're going to do this in a, in a private group. We're going to do this over 30 days. It's going to be simple daily actions. I'm going to do a, a, a live in that group every day with here's what it is, here's how to do it, now here, go do it. I'm going to be there available and accessible for questions. We're going to do extra trainings in that group. Like I said, this is going to take about 30 days for us to get through. And you can literally put these in place in under 20-ish minutes a day. Um, We start today, and you've got a week to join us. Doors close next Sunday night at midnight. And you can go to 30dayleadslab.com to sign up or to check it out and get more info. It's 30dayleadslab.com. All right. Awesome, Landon. Okay. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this. I have kind of privileged background information on, on most of the stuff that you have going on. And just as my own personal experience goes, the stuff that you teach behind the scenes is the most valuable hands down stuff that I've ever come across in my career. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there in the 30 day leads lab. I'm going to be taking part in it and I can't wait to see who else is going to join me there. And just one last time before we're out of here, what's the website where people can get signed up? 30 day leads lab.com. And thanks for the love. All right, man. Again, awesome podcast. Thanks for kind of just, fire hosing us with your, (laughs) with your information. And I appreciate it. And until next time, man, I'll catch you later. Peace out Cub Scouts. Don't forget. I love some of you. I like most of you. There's a few of you I can't stand and that's totally okay.